Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to solve the given rational equation. And to do this, we are going to start by factorizing x out of all three quadratic equations. When we start with the first one, we have x into x squared divided by x is x. Minus 10x divided by x is minus 10. And plus 15 divided by x is plus 15 over x. And this is over, we do the same thing, we have x. x squared divided by x is x. Minus 6x divided by x is minus 6. And plus 15 divided by x is plus 15 over x. On the right hand side, we have 4x over x squared divided by x is equal to x plus 12 or rather minus 12x divided by x is minus 12 and plus 15 divided by x is 15 over x. Now you can see that we have a common factor which is x. And since x equal to 0 is not a root of any of the original equations, we can comfortably divide through by x. So this takes care of that, and this takes care of that, leaving us with these. Now look at this first equation. We have x plus 15 over x. In this denominator, we have x plus 15 over x. And in this denominator, we have x plus 15 over x. So, of course, you know that we have to do a substitution, right? Very good. So, let x plus 15 over x be equal to d. Now, with this substitution, in this equation, we are going to have x plus 15 over x, which is equal to d, minus 10. So, here we have d minus 10 over here we have x plus 15 over x, which is equal to d, minus 6. So this is d minus 6. And this is equal to, here we have 4 over. The same thing happens. Here we have x plus 15 over x, which is equal to d, minus 12. So here we have d minus 12. Now you can see that we have a much simpler rational equation to solve. To solve this equation, we start by cross multiplying. This times that is equal to this times that. So that is 4 times d minus 6 is equal to d minus 10 times d minus 12. Opening this bracket, we have 4d minus 4 times 6 is 24 is equal to, opening these two brackets, we have d times d, which is d squared d times minus 12 which is minus 12 d minus 10 times d which is minus 10 d and minus 10 times minus 12 which is plus 120 now let us bring these two terms on the left over to the right hand side when we do that we are left with zero on the left hand side and then here we have plus 4d going over the equality sign becomes minus 4d. So this is minus 4d. And minus 24 going over the equality sign becomes plus 24. Adding everything, we have d squared. Now we have minus 12d minus 10d which is equal to minus 22d minus 4d that is equal to minus 26d so this is minus 26d and here we have plus 120 plus 24 that is equal to plus 144 and of course from here we have that d squared minus 26d plus 144 is equal to 0. 
Now we can factorize this quadratic equation. All we have to do is to find the factors of 144 that add up to minus 26. And they are going to be minus 8 and minus 18. Because minus 8 times minus 18 is equal to plus 144. And minus 8 minus 18 is equal to minus 26. So this equation becomes d minus 8 multiplied by d minus 18 is equal to 0. And of course, from here, you know that either d minus 8 is equal to 0 or d minus 18 is equal to 0. And from here, we have that d is equal to 8. While from here, we have that d is equal to 18. So now we have two values of d, 8 and 18. And of course, you know that that simply means that either x plus 15 over x is equal to 8 or x plus 15 over x is equal to 18 because of course x plus 15 over x is equal to d. Now that we have reduced the original rational equation to these two equations, all we have to do to find the values of x that satisfy this rational equation is to solve these two equations. Now, in the first case, we have that x plus 15 over x is equal to 8. To get rid of this fraction, let us multiply through this equation by x. x times x is x squared. 15 over x times x is 15 and 8 times x is 8x. Rearranging this equation, we have x squared minus 8x plus 15 is equal to 0. Once more, we can factorize this equation. All we have to do is to find the factors of 15 that add up to minus 8. And of course, we know that they are going to be minus 5 and minus 3. Because minus 5 times minus 3 is plus 15. While minus 5 added to minus 3 is equal to minus 8. So this equation can be factorized as x minus 3 multiplied by x minus 5 is equal to 0. And of course, you know that from here we have that either x minus 3 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. And from here, we have that x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 5. So now we have two values of x that satisfy this rational equation, 3 and 5. And in the second and final case, we have x plus 15 over x is equal to 18. Once more, to get rid of this fraction, we multiply through by x x times x is x squared. 15 over x times x is 15. And this is equal to 18 times x, which is 18x. Rearranging this equation, we have x squared minus 18x plus 15 is equal to 0. Now, we cannot factorize this quadratic equation. To solve this quadratic equation, the first thing we are going to do will be to transfer this constant term over to the right-hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have x squared minus 18x is equal to minus 15. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to add the square of half the coefficient of x to both sides of this equation. Now, what is the coefficient of x? It is minus 18. What is half of it? Minus 9. What is the square of that? Minus 9 squared. So we are going to add minus 9 squared to both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have x squared minus 18x plus minus 9 squared is equal to minus 15 
plus minus 9 squared. Now, when you look at the left-hand side of this equation, you will see that it's a perfect square. So here we have x and minus 9 squared. And this is equal to minus 15 plus minus 9 squared is equal to 81. And 81 minus 15 is 66. So now we have that x minus 9 squared is equal to 66. Of course, the next thing we do will be to take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have x minus 9 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 66. And of course, finally, we have that x is equal to 9 plus or minus the square root of 66. So we have two more values of x that satisfy this rational equation. And they are x equal to 9 plus root 66. And x equal to 9 minus root 66. Added to the other values that we got, which are x equal to 3 and x equal to 5. We have all the four values of x that satisfy the given rational equation. And with that, we come to the end of today's tutorial. I hope you learned something new. If you enjoy such content, please subscribe to the channel. Leave us a like to support the channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.